Hey guys, John Vaproni Technologies here today. Glad you tuned in to one of our fantastic, lovely, awesome videos uh, with Vaproni Technologies. So the topic of today's video is going to be the benefits of wet soda blasting. Are there really any benefits of wet soda blasting? I'm just kidding. There are a couple benefits of wet soda blasting. One of the main benefits of wet soda blasting is the lack of abrasive uh, potentially left behind in a part. And if it is left behind, it's soda, so it will dissolve in oil or water. So that is one of the biggest, biggest reasons that people use wet soda blasting or the benefits of wet soda blasting. So a lot of people, if you're one of those people that have concerns with abrasives being left behind, um, or getting all the abrasives out, wet soda blasting is certainly an option for you. Now, one of the downsides to wet soda blasting, before I continue down this path of why wet soda blasting is good, or the benefits, one of the downsides is soda blasting cannot really change or cannot change the appearance of a part. Um, it's too soft, it's too fragile, um, it's too friable. When it actually hits the surface, it essentially explodes. And so it's a really good cleaning process, but it's actually not a good finishing or preparation process. And one of the reasons it's not a good finishing or preparation process, like I mentioned before, is it's really soft, really friable. Another issue is some of the pH problems on the part surface that arise when you use soda for prepping for coatings. And some of you in the past may have used soda blasting to prep for coatings and you've experienced issues like fish eyeing where the paint will not stick to a specific area. And that comes from either contamination in the surface or some sort of pH issue um, on that surface where the paint doesn't want to bond. So that's one downside. Uh, but one of the other benefits from wet soda blasting is that it's a fantastic cleaning process and it's very quick and very easy. Um, essentially in a wet cabinet, we have to super saturate the water is what we call it. Uh, because that abrasive is going to break down. It's going to absorb into the water. So you have to super saturate, meaning you add almost essentially double the amount of media into a cabinet to actually have some grit that's left over. And you've probably seen a few videos in the past where you can actually see grit in the cabinet. Well, that's because we've added double the amount. So let's say normally some of our uh, smaller cabinets use 25 pounds as a, of abrasive. You put 40 pounds or 45 pounds of soda into that cabinet. Now that's gonna last a little bit of time there um, while blasting, it's gonna last you a couple days. You're gonna need to start maintaining that, adding five pounds um, every couple days because again, it's gonna disappear or break down. But um, yeah, it's fantastic for cleaning. It's way faster than traditional parts washing because you have that grit um, that's there. And of course you have the water washing with the grit. So for remanufacturing, um, everyday maintenance uh, technicians, that's what we recommend when, that's, um, when that is the application. But after covering the two main reasons why wet soda blasting might be a great, excellent choice for you, again, I wanna reiterate that you can't get a good finish with wet soda blast. Like this right here is a good, beautiful finish that I think Tua did earlier today, actually. But this is a good example of a beautiful, what most people think of a wet blasting finish to look like. And soda's not gonna get you there. Um, I can guarantee you that, but maybe we'll try to get some pictures up for you, um, shoot some more videos of wet soda blasting in the future. But this is a good finish, and wet soda's not gonna get you there. And that's one of the downsides to wet soda. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that little bell icon so it notifies you of any new videos that we drop daily here on the channel. And as always, we thank you for watching.